Today on TQA Weekly, we're going to be talking about how a VPN can protect you from a man in the middle of attack, a very specific kind. But first, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and if you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button down below. And for those who are subscribed, may I also suggest the join button, become a member, be part of our monthly live streams, and part of our private Discord channel. And all the information will be in the community tab and the message will be for members only. So let's talk about this topic where I actually reached out to a person on the tech support Reddit. This person has a very interesting problem, which I'm sure is not unique, but is fairly rarely spoken about. Somebody has gained his online security and figured out his username and password and email addresses even after changing all of this. And in his case, he also has rogue signals of Wi-Fi around that are not supposed to be there. And I've had him also change his router's password, but there are security implementation issues with routers. So let's actually talk about some of them. So first, the security model of any, any infrastructure, digital or otherwise, is the most important, how everything is secured. And the first thing about security that you must understand is that the password, the password complexity, the strength, and the implementation are all important. How they are implemented, used, and even the strength decide whether or not that security model is secure or not. And in the case of WPA2 and the relationship with WPS in that architecture and how it is also a shared passphrase, the way everything works lends itself to a very important issue where anybody can be a man in the middle snooping on your traffic and basically gaming all the information. So the second you can breach the security of a router, and you're in the network, you can snoop on all the traffic. So for all plain text traffic, like your emails to you and from your ISP, they can see all of that. For all the encrypted traffic, they get all of the metadata, which is just as valuable by the way. And that means that they can do a lot of harm by collecting information and possibly trying to defraud you or threaten you or blackmail you in one way or another. There are solutions to this though. Making sure your hardware is up to date is one of them. Making sure your password is extremely complicated is another one. Making sure that WPS is turned off is another one. But these are not 100% guaranteed to protect you from a man in the middle of attack because who knows on, because who knows who's on your network? Who knows what they're doing? and who knows what they intend to do with all the information. The only viable way of keeping somebody out of your business is to use a VP on your computer with a kill switch. That way, whenever you connect to the internet, your traffic is protected end to end, regardless of type. And I would suggest that this VPN connect locally. And in this case, this means that they don't get any of the information. And if there's a kill switch and they decide they're brilliant, they're going to turn off the VPN and see if your traffic downgrades the normal internet with the kill switch, that won't happen and there will be no information leakage. So yes, a VPN can protect you from a man in the middle of attack, especially localized attacks to your own hardware in your home. It is not terribly hard to achieve. Anybody can do it but it is definitely easy to protect yourself from this kind of attack. Like this episode if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, share it with those who think benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website, tqaweekly.com, where you can see this show, show notes, other episodes, find other ways of subscribing, and use the contact form to email me directly. Thank you for watching and goodbye.